Facts First presents Home Improvement, 20 Shocking Behind-the-Scenes Facts. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Home Improvement. Home Improvement was one of the greatest shows of the 90s. People tuned in every week to see Tim, the tool man Taylor, make a mess of everything. If you've never missed a single episode and were a faithful viewer for all eight seasons, there's a chance you don't know everything about the show. Home Improvement, behind the scenes facts not even super fans know. Tim Allen was a stand-up comedian. Before Home Improvement, Tim Allen was a stand-up comedian. His act provided the material that would be the basis for the show. Tim took the stage for the first time at the Comedy Castle in his home state of Michigan. He took the stage in 1979, which was just a month after the club opened. His act caught the attention of Disney execs Michael Eisner and Jeffrey Katzenberg. They saw him performing at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles. They loved his act, which led to a long-term relationship with Disney. Not only did he work with them on Home Improvement, he also worked with them on the Santa Claus and the Toy Story franchise. Francis Fisher was originally cast as Jill. Frances Fisher was Rose's uptight mother in the hit movie Titanic. She also played Strawberry Alice in Clint Eastwood's Unforgiven. She was initially cast as Jill Taylor, and she filmed the pilot episode. Because Frances is a serious, dramatic actress, she wasn't as fun and lighthearted as the creators wanted her to be. This was why the role was recast with Patricia Richardson. Tim Allen was offered two different shows that were reboots of movies. Before Home Improvement, Tim Allen was offered roles in the TV versions of Turner and Hooch and the Dead Poets Society. Tim turned them both down because he thought they were destined for failure. He said TV versions of movies generally didn't do well. This was a great decision because he got to do Home Improvement, and the two shows he was offered never made it to air. Al was originally a different character. Initially, Tim's co-host on the show was going to be named Glenn and played by Stephen Tobolowsky. Stephen wasn't able to film the first several episodes because he was already committed to a film. To fix the problem, the writers created Al as a stand-in until Stephen was free. They cast Richard Kern as Al, and his dynamic with Tim Allen was too much to ignore. Fortunately, Stephen decided to focus more on film, and Richard was added to the cast permanently. It's hard to imagine home improvement without Al, so it worked out perfectly. Richard Kern was cast because he ran a stop sign. Richard Karn was working on a production of King Lear when Home Improvement was casting. On his way home from a rehearsal, Richard ran a stop sign and was required to go to traffic school. While in traffic school, Richard met an agent who told him that there was a new show looking for new actors, and it was Home Improvement. Richard knew several of the people who were working on the show, so he auditioned. He got the role and stayed on the show for all eight seasons. Hammer Time The original title of the show was Hammer Time. It was in reference to Tim's public access home improvement show and also to MC Hammer, who was very popular at the time. During a very long brainstorming session, the show's title was changed to Home Improvement. Tim and the creators thought it worked better. Not only did it reference Tim's home improvement show, but it also referenced the work Tim does as a father and a husband. It also gave the nod to the many home improvement projects that Tim fumbles on the show. Tim only wore clothes from Michigan schools. Tim Taylor mostly wore t-shirts and sweatshirts on the show, which worked because he was a man's man. Tim decided that his character would only wear clothes that advertised teams and schools from his home state of Michigan. This actually worked out great because when colleges and universities saw the trend, they started sending him shirts from their schools. Jonathan Taylor Thomas caused friction with the cast. Jonathan Taylor Thomas played Randy on the show, and he became a teen heartthrob. During his time on the show, he filmed several movies such as The Lion King and Tom and Huck. Jonathan left the show saying he wanted to focus on school, but Tim felt burned by his departure. Tim says it wasn't about going to school because Jonathan was still working in film. Jonathan came back for one of the final episodes titled Home for the Holidays, but he didn't return for the season finale. Tim and Jonathan's Disney characters made a cameo appearance. Tim Allen lent his voice for Buzz Lightyear in Disney's Toy Story. Jonathan lent his voice to young Simba in Disney's Lion King. In the season 6 episode, I Was a Teenage Tailor, Randy greets two trick-or-treaters at the door. One was dressed as Buzz Lightyear, and the other was dressed as Simba. As a gag, Randy gives Simba more candy than he gives Buzz. The original Wilson quit the show at the last minute. On the show, Tim often went out to the backyard to ask his neighbor, Wilson, for advice. The two men always talk through a fence, so you never see Wilson's face. The original actor hired to play Wilson was John Bedford Lloyd. When he signed on to play Wilson, John didn't know that his whole face would never be seen. He quit the show the day before the first day of filming, and they brought in Earl Hindman to play Wilson. Wilson's full name is Wilson W. Wilson, and he has a Ph.D. in Forgotten Languages and Cultures. 
The Tool Time audience was the home improvement audience. When Tim films Tool Time, he often interacts with the studio audience. Rather than casting a bunch of extras, the producers decided to use home improvement studio audience. Not only did the studio audience get to see the show, but they also got to be in the episodes. Between takes, Tim Allen would do some improv to keep the audience entertained. Tool Time is a spoof of this old house. Tim Taylor was supposed to be a spoof of the famed home improvement TV star Bob Vila. Bob's show ran on PBS for 39 seasons. Al always wore flannel shirts, which was also a nod to Bob Vila. On the show, Bob Vila is a rival of Tim's. He challenges Bob to different races like a riding lawnmower race and a classic hot rod race. Sadly, Tim never comes out on top. Wilson is based on Tim Allen's real-life childhood neighbor. When Tim Allen was a child, he had a neighbor that he would talk to in the backyard. Tim's family had a big picket fence that wrapped around the yard, so he was never able to see his neighbor's face over the fence. This is where Wilson's character came from. Even though you couldn't see Wilson's face, he was still the fan favorite. Wilson's face was never seen until the curtain call of the final episode. Finally, he got in front of the audience to take a bow. There's a terrible home improvement video game. Home Improvement had its own video game called Home Improvement, Power Tool Pursuit. Super Nintendo released it in late 94 and early 95. The game allows you to control Tim as he battles through various movie sets to reclaim his power tools. The game didn't catch on, and it wasn't very successful. Home Improvement was Pamela Anderson's first acting job. Supermodel and actress Pamela Anderson starred in Home Improvement for the first two seasons. She played Lisa, the Tool Time Girl. Before Home Improvement, Pamela had been modeling, and she was Playboy's Playmate of the Month. Home Improvement was her first acting job. Pamela left the show when she landed the role of C.J. Parker on Baywatch. Pamela returned to the show in the season 6 finale titled The Kiss and the Kiss Off. Dave Chappelle appeared in an episode. Before Dave became one of the best comedians, he appeared on Home Improvement in the season 4 episode Talk to Me. His character name was Dave, and he starred alongside his real-life friend, Jim Brewer. The two played a couple of guys looking for advice on how to deal with their girlfriends. Their appearance was so well-received that the two men were given their own series, Buddies. It was short-lived because there were problems from the start. It was canceled after just five episodes, and Dave went on to host Chappelle's show on Comedy Central. Ashley Judd was in the running to play Lisa. Before Ashley Judd starred in several hit 90s films, she auditioned for the role of Lisa on Home Improvement. Matt Williams, the show's co-creator, wanted Ashley for the part, but he felt she was too good for such a small role. Matt called Ashley and offered to write her a new role as Tim's sister, but she declined. Ashley wanted to focus more on film and went on to star in A Time to Kill. The repeated gag of Tim's phone number is a real Illinois area code. Each time Tim Taylor said something offensive or chauvinistic on Tool Time, Al would have Tim's phone number flash on the screen. The idea was so that viewers could call Tim directly to complain. The number that flashes on the screen doesn't have a Michigan area code where the show is set. Instead, it's an Illinois area code. Tim and Patricia were offered big money to do a ninth season. During the eighth season, Home Improvement's ratings were on the decline, but it was still a popular show. The producers wanted to do a ninth season, and they were ready to pay the stars to stay. Tim Allen was offered $50 million to keep playing Tim. Patricia Richardson was offered $25 million to keep playing Jill. The two declined. They didn't think there was any point in keeping the show going. The final episode aired on May 25, 1999, after eight seasons and 203 episodes. Which of these facts was most surprising to you? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Factsverse for more great videos.